What's up guys? In this video I'm going to show you how to set up the project. Now the first thing I want to do is set up a backend that has a GraphQL uh, server basically set up with it. Now I've done a project before setting up um, a GraphQL server. If you want to look at that I'll put a link in the description below. And for now we're just going to clone that project and use it for this one. Um, if you have your own GraphQL server you'd like to use, um, that works too. Um, if not, go ahead and clone it. I'll put this link in the description below. I already cloned it. Um, after you clone it, you're just going to uh, cd into it. So cd, and then you're going to just say yarn to install all the dependencies and just hit enter. I already installed all the dependencies, um, so I'm not going to run that. Um, you can also do npm install, but yarn is faster. If you don't have yarn, you can install it like this. Um, it just makes downloading things a lot faster, so I switched to using Yarn now instead of NPM. So uh, make sure you have that installed, and then once um, you install the dependencies, you can just do NPM start, and now our server is good to go, and we'll just be, leave this running in the background while we work on the front end. Okay, so now switch to a different tab um, on your terminal, or uh, you're gonna wanna create in a different folder, um, we're going to start uh, working on the front end. So I'm going to clone based off of my React template, so right here. And we're going to, I'm going to call my front end. You can call it whatever you like. And then I already cloned mine, so after that you're going to cd into that folder. And then again, we need to install some dependencies. Um, so I, you need to add Apollo client, GraphQL tag, and React Apollo. These are the GraphQL uh, libraries that we're going to be using and then after that I re-added them so I'm not going to run this uh, just type yarn hit enter and then I'll install all the dependencies for you so now if you do um, I'm just going to open this in our tab if you do npm start um, you should pop up and it should look like this you should see a little title home stuff um, working correctly if you got everything dependencies installed correctly Okay, so now let's start setting it up, uh, the project. So if you just look what's inside, we're going to go into the source folder, and then you'll see a folder called sagas. For this, we're not going to need that, so if you want to just remove that folder, you can. And the first thing we're going to uh, work on is store.js. Um, so as you can see here, we have a couple things um, already. We're just going to add a few uh, we're basically going to swap, you can see we have Redux Saga here, we're going to swap that out for Apollo things. So we're going to use the compose function to also set up the Redux dev tools because I like to use those in my project and I'll show you what this does too. Okay, so we're going to keep uh, everything here, we're going to kill that, um, so you can create, get rid of that. We're going to, we're not using Sagas whatsoever and we're going to import root reducer and client um, from reducers index and this is what we're going to be creating next so you can get rid of that um, and our default state is fine uh, our store now is going to be slightly different so let's move this down um, so apply middleware um, we're going to compose two things together. Compose. We're going to apply middleware and we're going to do client dot middleware. And this client is the Apollo client and this is what's connecting to the GraphQL server. Um, and then after that we're just going to do window dot dev tools extension um, if it exists window.dev tools extension otherwise to f okay so right here this will add the allow us to use the redux dev tools um, which I enjoy using so I, I like to add it to my projects now um, and then we're just adding the middleware to the store now we can kill this saga here um, and then we don't really, this is basically a one page project. Um, we don't need to sync history with the store. Um, 
but we can for now. Um, and we can just say default history. Actually, I don't want to export. We're, yeah, why don't we export? I want to export both of these because I also want the history. Okay. So we're going to export both the store and the history as regular exports. Okay, so now our store is set up. Next thing that we're going to do is create this client guy right here. So if you uh, go into reducers and then the index reducer uh, is what we're going to play with next. Okay, so we have combined reducers up here. We have root reducers. That's all going to stay the same. And we're going to import the Apollo client. And we're also going to import network interface and this is what's going to be connecting to uh, our server um, so const net work interface is equal to create network interface and then here we're going to put a URI and we're going to put the URL to our uh, server so for us we go to localhost 3030 slash graph IQL. We can see that we have it running because we started the server. If we get rid of the I, um, this is our endpoint to actually send um, GraphQL uh, messages to it. Um, we can post here. As it says, it only accepts post requests. So we can start posting to it. So this is the URL we're going to use. So copy that, paste it here. Um, so we'll close 3030 slash GraphQL. <clears throat> That's the endpoint that we're going to be making basically API requests with uh, GraphQL queries and things. Next, we're going to say network.interface.use. So this is an extra thing um, that I'm adding because I'm doing authentication with my project. So I need to pass in uh, basically a token. So apply middleware so I know if a user is authenticated or not next and we can do this by adding some middleware so the first thing we're going to do is and we can do a comma because it's just an object okay and next we're going to just say if rec.options.headers um, if it doesn't exist then we're going to add an empty object because we need to add something to the headers rec.options oops rec.options the header is dot authorization is equal to local storage dot get item and this is something we're gonna like once the user logs in and we get a token we're gonna save in local storage so that way this can access it so we're gonna get the token if it exists if not we're gonna pass an empty string and they're not authenticated if there is a token in the local storage we're gonna get it and put it in this header and we're gonna use that to authenticate on our server and then we're just gonna call next okay so that gets that going and then export const client is equal to new Apollo client. And we're just going to pass in our network interface that we just created. Wonderful. And now for our root reducer, I'm just going to drop this down to a new line. We got routing Apollo client.reducer. And that's it for now. And also, um, in our other notice, if you're newer to uh, React, in our store right here, notice how we exported both of these with curly braces. So that's why I got, uh, we're now exporting two things. So I didn't want to export default uh, in my index because I wanted both my client and my root reducer here. So what we created right here is then being passed here and we can apply some middleware uh, and get that working. All right, so this is a good setup um, 
for our uh, project. And let's see, I think we'll have some errors right now. Yep, the prop store is marked as required and provider, but its value is undefined, um, which we'll be fixing in the next video. Uh, we have our store and our reducer set up. We'll be working on uh, the main core of our app next.